What's up guys? Dino Fries here. Today, I am going to answer the question that I get asked the most. Should you play Artel? So in February of this year, I put out a video called Should You Play Maple Land? If you're not familiar, this was a video about Maple Story Worlds in Korea, Maple Land in Korea. I played on it for a little while and I just kind of went over what I liked about it and kind of gave y'all a um, kind of, you know, a insight into like if it's worth, you know, getting a Korean account and the money that may uh, that that may cost. And if it's worth, you know, subscribing to a VPN and the money that that may cost. And if it's worth playing on this server that's in totally in Korean. Yada yada yada. Fast forward to today, or a week ago, last Friday on the 18th, uh, our tale launched. So last Wednesday, uh, Maple Story Worlds became available global, well, in the Americas. It's a soft launch. It's currently available in North and South America. And we didn't get Maple Land, uh, like everyone hoped. Um, and we didn't get our tale, actually, not right away. We had to wait a couple of days, and then our tale came out. Now, our tale is like Maple Land, uh, but let's just say not as authentic. So the history is that our tale launched in Korea when Maple Story Worlds became available in Korea, I want to say like two years ago. So our tale was available before Maple Land. I believe Maple Land came out like a year after our tale and basically um most like an overwhelming majority of players from our tale jumped ship and went to play maple land so let's well, basically you know in summary everyone in korea who's interested in old school maple story classic that is on maple story worlds the platform they're playing maple land not many are playing our tale anymore but we're not in korea you know, well, at least I'm not. Um, we're talking about the West. We're talking about outside of Korea. So Maple Land is not available in uh, the, on the global Maple Story Worlds platform, the English uh, version. Um, so, and um, they actually, the Maple Land team, um, you know, just to answer, I know this question is going to come up. Uh, the Maple Land team finally responded, and they basically said that. They are working on um, a couple of big patches and updates for Maple Land Korea. Um, basically, it seems like they want to fine tune things and work on um, what they're already working on. I think basically they have their hands full and they said that basically, at least the way I interpreted it, is that um, they're not even going to think about localizing and porting Maple Land over to Maple Story Worlds until uh, I think January of next year is when Maple Story Worlds becomes available outside of the Americas because right now we're experiencing a soft launch as it's only available again in North and South America. Um, so, for example, I, I think where it's a, this is a prediction or a rumor, I guess, that it'll become available in like Europe and the rest of the world um, next year. January, January 2025. So the Maple Land team seems to say that we're not going to do, we're not even going to think about it until Maple Story Worlds is available for everyone, not just Americans. And then we'll think about it. Then we'll start to work on it. So, you know, TLDR, you're not, we're not getting Maple Land for maybe six months. Like maybe if it comes out and all things go according to plan and everything goes smoothie you're looking at maple land available in the west next maybe late spring or next summer if we're just being realistic okay now that the maple land talk is out of the way because man do i get i get asked that question so much let's talk about our tale so in case you haven't noticed i've been streaming our tale every single day for hours and hours ever since it launched last Friday. And um, I've, 
It's been so much fun. So let me give you the rundown of what our tale is. So basically, it's old school, classic Maple, t Maple Story, free Big Bang. The XP rates are double XP from 1 to 70, then 1.5 times XP from 71 to 100, and then regular XP from 100 plus. Uh, PQs, party quests, and quests, I believe, remain double XP um, for the entirety of the leveling process. The regions that are currently available are Victoria Islands, Orbis, Elnoth, Ludibrium, and Zipongu. Uh, party quests-wise, we only have Hennessy's party quest and Kerna City party quests available right now. Ludibrium party quest just came out. Uh, there's no maple weapons right now. Um, it's possible that we get them in the future. I believe Artel Korea got maple lands about three months after launch, so we might get them uh, sooner than later. Also, uh, in terms of cosmetics, so your Maple Story World's avatar, um, so like design your Maple Story World's avatar, right? It's going to look like that when you load into Artel as a brand new player but any equipment that you uh put on overrides your cosmetics so basically you know hair and eyes are free you can choose whatever hair and eyes you want and you could change it whenever you want and then if you want all of your cosmetics all of your nx to show then you buy a free styling pass from the cash shop which costs uh 30 200 world coins um which is like maple story worlds nx uh, and that costs 16 us dollars um so kind of like the conversion rate is you know you half it you can also buy pets um pets are eight us dollars 1600 world coins there's auto buffs for pets also 1600 world coins eight dollars and um although i wouldn't say our tail is paid to win i would say there are some pay to win elements because essentially I could buy a pet from the cash shop for eight dollars and then flip it for like I think prices are around like 800k right now so I could make that is kind of pay to win isn't it um just to put that out there it doesn't seem too overbearing at the moment there are also like you could buy like attack or, or weapon attack or magic attack buffs from the cash shop uh but you can also buy them with mesos like I've been buying them with the mesos and they're not that expensive. Uh, just something to keep in mind. I don't feel like it's pay to win. Too much pay to win. There are certainly little bit pay to win elements here and there. I don't really engage in it. Um, but yeah, just putting that out there. Also, just want to point out the freestyle and pass so you can show off your cosmetics is permanent as our pets. Also, there's guilds. There are guilds in our tail. Other features in our tail um, that are at least I'll bring up the notable ones is the fact that you can hit the you can go to the free market whenever you want there's a button like think of like the cash shop button in like regular maple story you can hit that go to the free market whenever you want um unfortunately channels are capped at 50 i know when you look at our tail on maple story world it says 50 players it's not 50 for the whole server it's 50 per a channel that sucks also changing channels is not as quick as it is in regular maple story that also sucks um but in terms of player count um there are like 2,000 players online at any time and actually that number is starting to rise to like 2,500 players online at every time another thing that artel has which i love um is the auction house so you you get a cool you get a, a, a good scroll or a you know a really good equip um, and you, but you can, you don't want to use it. Uh, you go to the free market, um, you talk to an NPC, and you go to the auction house, and then you can just li like think like the MTS, right? I think it's called the Maple Trading System. Think about the MTS um, back in the day when that came out, how you could like buy and sell items for NX. Um, so it's that, but not NX Mesos. So you list an item for Mesos. Um, and you could see like market prices, what other people are selling it for. And I love it, dude. I love it so much. It's the auction house is awesome in Octel. 
And then besides that, there are, um, I would say, quality of life changes for classes. I'm not going to give you the the I'm not going to go through all of them. I'll give you the highlights. So, for example, uh, assassins and archers don't hit monsters when they get too close. Throwing stars, bullets, because their pirates are available. I didn't mention that. Pirates are available. Gunslingers and brawlers, they're available. Uh, bullets, arrows, and throwing stars are like an equipment slot. So you don't need to recharge them. They don't run out. They're infinite. Um, and then like skills that would have given you infinite ammo um like soul arrow for example it's like a buff like it ignores weapon defense for example other things is like stabbing and slashing animations have the same damage formula for warriors um i also think that final attack is actually usable for warriors another thing is that fire arrow for fire for fire poison mages hits three mobs instead of just one i'll throw a link down in the description below and you can take a look at all the skill changes through the official Artail Discord channel. So yeah, like, I don't know, should you pay Artail? Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I personally don't mess with private servers. Not, not my thing. And yet I was so thirsty for old school Maple Surrey classic. Obviously, right? Like I, I played Maple in Korea, I couldn't wait. Um, well, we don't have to wait anymore. Like, it's here. Like, this is the most official old school Maple Story experience we're gonna get. Um, I guess until Maple Land, but guess what? Maple Land isn't here. Like, stop waiting around for Maple Land when it doesn't even exist yet, except in another country up with that goes by a language you can't understand. You know what I mean? Um, that you have to go through hoops to even access it. Stop, don't wait. Like, just play our tale. Like, oh, but, and I get asked this question a lot. Um, as I mentioned, I've been streaming Artail every day, all day. I get I get this question all the time. Uh, are you gonna leave Artail when Maple Land drops? I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen in six months from now. I, I don't even know. I don't know anything about my future. You know what I mean? Like focus on the now. Come play Artail. It's free. And then when Maple Land is announced, uh, announced, let's say, or global, then let then we'll have this conversation again. Okay. In summary, yes, you should play our tale. And if you're not convinced or you want your you want more information or you just want to hang out, I encourage you to uh, tune in to my streams. I will be continuing to stream our tale um, every day. Hopefully I'll continue to stream our tale every day and for hours on end. And yeah, come hang out. It's uh, a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. Any questions you have, feel free to throw them in the comments down below. I will try to answer all of them. And yeah, thank you for watching. I super appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give me a like. It really helps me out a lot. Also, if you're enjoying my content, consider hitting that join button next to the subscribe, subscribe button and becoming a member of the channel. Um, it really helps me out a lot. Um, like I said, I've been, you know, making this maple story content now and trying to get more um serious i guess about it or just doing as much of it as i can handle um and streaming um you know old school maple story classic content whether it's our tale or something else um for the foreseeable future so yeah if you can you know lend lend your support i really appreciate that but no pressure um and thanks and on that note i'd like to give a special shout out to the members of the channel thus far we got chris Raymond, Rebecca M, Genghis Gunt, Ironology, and Always Laugh 12. Special thanks to those guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Hope I see you in Artail, and I hope I see you for the next video. Peace out.